Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Press Box, a weekly presentation of the Dispatch and the Rock Island Argus, sponsored by Zeglin's TV and Appliance. I'm Steve Tappa. This is my fellow sports staffer, Daniel McCarowitz, and we're here talking about Western Big Six basketball this weekend. And uh, I guess, Dan, uh, uh, the big news is, hey, there's a race on. Yeah, and and I didn't think that it would be Quincy that would end Rock Island streak. I didn't either. And and truth be told, if if Rock Island plays to their potential, uh, I see that being a 10 point victory because uh, Quincy didn't play particularly well, especially in the second half. But got to give credit to Quincy. They came up, they they hit shots early, they made plays when they had to, they won on the road in the Big Six. So you know now Quincy's in the in the Boston Big Six title race. Galesburg kind of re-enters it, and this week is kind of a uh, to me, a separation, uh, separation Friday with with Alleman hosting Rock Island. You got to think Rock Island's going to win that to maintain their lead. But the other two games are very interesting with Galesburg hosting Moline and with UT going to Quincy tonight. So sure. I mean, some UT can kind of stick around. Get, Moline can stick around in that conference race. Quincy and Galesburg really can play themselves out of that conference race. So those two games. The winners in those games stay in the race. The losers basically are eliminated from the contention, and that's you know for Moline and UT two huge road games. That if if you want to get some momentum, if you want to stay in that race, you got to you definitely have to win tonight. Now Rock Island had been state ranked. They, mm -hmm. They're still in the state rankings. They're not in the top ten anymore. Uh, they they've proven mortal here mm -hmm. the last couple of weeks. Can you explain that? Uh, talking with some players, talking with Coach Stigel, it's more so that they don't have the energy needed, the heart needed, and maybe that's a wake-up call because uh, that team has the talent to, to win games. For some reason, they're a little bit lackadaisical. They didn't come out ready to play against Quincy. Quincy kind of punched right. them in the mouth a little bit. Quincy was more aggressive on, on the rebounds, better defensively. Rock Island just didn't look in sync and rhythm, and, and that's a team right now that – uh, rival Big Six coach, maybe there's a chink in the armor there. Maybe that they, they expose something a little bit. If you can attack the glass, if you can, if the one they're not hitting shots, they weren't hitting shots like they normally do sure. against uh, against Quincy. But if you can, if they aren't hitting shots, and if you hit the glass hard, Rock Island is vulnerable a little bit. But maybe that's the wake up call needed. I don't know. I guess we'll find out in the next couple weeks. But. Rock Island certainly got exposed a little bit, uh, but you know every team gets exposed at some point during the season. Of course, we say that it was a double overtime loss, and, to, and uh, I mean took to, a, to Quincy took you know. a questionable call sure. for for that to go into into overtime. But you know Rock Island was down 14 or 13 early in the fourth quarter, came back and tied it, took the lead. So they didn't roll over there, but a little too little too late for them. Sure, uh, Rock Island with a loss now. Mm -hmm. uh, Quincy hosting UT this weekend, uh, as we said. Uh, you know, UT's got a chance. Yeah, UT's they, got a chance because they, they, they've been playing really well. It, but which UT is going to show up? Is that's, it, that's the it's, question. It's UT after a tough loss at home you're against a rival. You'd like, against are, Moline, are, are they upset are, too. Are yeah. they going to go down to Quincy and show up and fight? Or are they going to just say, you know, we lost to Moline, we're going to kind of roll over? I mean, that, what are you going to get? Because UT may be out of the big six race. But they can still play themselves into a decent regional scene, and they can. A lot of a lot of people are fearful of them. They don't want to get them in in the postseason. UT is very capable of winning out in the Big Six. They really are. But are they going to go down to Quincy, motivated with a chip on their shoulder? Are they going to go down there? Well, we lost to Moline. We don't really have much to play for. Because they can go down there and they can win that game by ten points with the, sure athletic, with the yeah. athleticism, with the way that they can hit perimeter shots, and with the way that they can score inside. That's what could give Quincy problems. If they can handle Quincy's zone, hit some shots, and play with an edge, it, it won't surprise me if they went down there and won. Yeah, that's what. It, it, now that you mention it, you know, you think about it. Each of the each of the chasers has something mm -hmm. that 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 uh, a flaw that's just yeah. hanging there, a hanging chad, yeah. if you will. And and right now, like I look at Moline's flaw, a little bit of lack of a, of a bench, and that's wow. something that Coach Schimmel was excited about going into the season. Hey, we have some depth. They lost two guys. Sure. Galesburg doesn't have any depth, and right now, I mean, they took one on the chin against New Lenox Providence. Oh, boy, they did. Yeah. So, Galesburg kind of has that, you know, which which Galesburg team's going to show up, which Moline's gonna, team's going to show up. Yeah, really. Uh, it, that can be a real interesting game. Mm -hmm. UT at Quincy can be yep. a real interesting game. The first time around, UT didn't have its guys. Yeah. Quincy beat them. Quincy's a solid team. That's not, not really spectacular. Great. No. Just solid. That's yeah. all they do. Yep. Yeah. You know? And so, I mean, but I think. 
I'm going to say road team sweep. You team only and I'll earn Rock Island all sweep. Boy, when's the last time that's happened in the Big Good season? question. Yeah. Very good question. Yeah, very interesting. Interesting weekend. Lots of area games on tap. Uh, we got uh, 1A, 2A girls regional starting up next week as well. So uh, hopefully we see you at a ball game. And if not, we'll see you back here next week on the Press Box. Thank you.